Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today we're going to be cleaning this whole house. It doesn't need a deep clean but I feel like there's something in every room that needs to be touched or put away. All my windows need to be wiped down. There's like fingerprints all over them. I need to do some dusting. I need to work on my front porch, my back porch. I just need to kind of do a little bit of everything. So if you're new here I would love for you to subscribe and join my channel but now let's get straight into today's video. The very first thing I'm gonna work on are our windows. So I wanted to show you the rag that I use from eCloth and my Jaws window cleaner. I feel like those are just like the perfect pair. Um, they clean really well for like your windows or your mirrors, anything like that. And I did wanna let you guys know over on my Instagram page, I'm doing a huge giveaway with Jaws. We're giving away three ultimate cleaning packages, which is huge. So if you wanna get entered to win one of those, definitely head on over to my Instagram page. I'll have that link down below. But I'm gonna just go ahead and get these windows clean. I feel like there's always kids like faces and handprints and then dogs noses as you can see right there. Also wanted to let you guys know that today's video is a collab with a style mom XO. I love her so much. Like I love her family. I love her. She's so real and kind and sweet and sassy. And they just got a new home in Arizona. They built it. It is absolutely beautiful. So she's doing a lot of home videos over on her channel and you guys love that here on my channel. So I know you're going to love hers. So definitely click on that link down below in my description box. And when you're finished watching my video, go over and watch hers, show her some love, subscribe, let her know I sent you. And I promise you, you will not regret it. So if you're new here, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Ashley. I'm married to my husband, Chase. Um, this summer we are celebrating 13 years of marriage, but we actually met each other in seventh grade, which is a little crazy. Um, we have one daughter and her name is Savannah and she is 10 years old and obsessed with anything American Girl doll. And we homeschool her as well. So we're not your typical family on here, but that's okay. We like being a little weird or a little different. Um, on this channel, I love to do cleaning, decorating, rearranging, DIYs, room makeovers, you name it. If it has to do with the home, I love to do it. And then we also have a vlog channel. So we would love for you to just follow us along if that sounds fun, because we would love to have you here. Now I'm going to throw all these cleaning cloths into the basket in my laundry room so I can get them washed later, but I'm going to head back into my kitchen and just tidy up the space. It wasn't super dirty, like there wasn't a lot out, but my countertops were super just like sticky and dirty. We had made ribs the night before, we had baked a cake, and I actually didn't wipe down these countertops before I went to bed, which is shocking because I normally do that every night, but they were starting to look really bad, so I'm going to go ahead and work on getting those clean. Like your attitude Let's forget about a curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head It's me and you if anybody is curious, I'm just using my Jaws Granite Top Cleaner. It's by far my favorite cleaner in the house. I just love the smell of it. And then I'm using a Jaws rag as well. But you can see I'm just cleaning under like the soap. Mine gets so dirty and just wet. So I like to keep that dry. And then our white coffee pot, I love, but it shows so much coffee and dirt. So I'm gonna wipe that down as well. I 
I also feel like this product works really well on stainless steel. So normally what's ever left on that rag after cleaning my countertops, I'll just wipe down my dishwasher and my microwave and my refrigerator. Now I wouldn't do the glass part of your microwave because it will make it streaky. But if you just do that stainless steel part, it will keep it nice and clean. And then I'm going to switch products. I just grabbed my Jaws wood cleaner and I'm going to head to our dining room area to wipe down this table. We'd had breakfast in here, so I needed to get it clean. Um, this room is not finished right now. I know I just did a dining room makeover where I completed it, but then I've moved those pieces out in other rooms. We're going to be doing an accent wall right there where those shutters are soon. So if you want to see how we do that, definitely subscribe and make sure to be on the lookout. It should be coming up in the next week or so. And I also need to find a place for that chair that's in there. Basically right now, just want, by the time I get one room clean, I destroy another one. So I'm trying to make it all work right now. So hopefully one day this house will be finished. Just maybe, maybe. <laughs> Okay, so while I have this wood cleaner product in my hand with the rag, I want to go ahead and work our dining room table that's outside on our back patio. I love having this out here. So if you guys are new here, I have a whole dining room makeover on a budget. I have a whole patio makeover where we talk about all the prices and what it costs to do it. I feel like it's so much more helpful when we can talk prices so you guys know what's in your budget or if you can do it for cheaper or you know if you're able to do it at all. So I always try to share those in all of my makeover videos. But like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down this table because it does get dusty out here and we eat at it a lot. So I wanna just make sure to keep it nice and clean. Now I'm going to go ahead and vacuum this rug. This actually is um, an indoor rug and it's holding up really well. It's also the dry part of the season. Like it's not super rainy, so it's not getting wet and the dogs aren't getting paw prints. But as of right now, I'm loving it out here and I don't mind vacuuming outside. I don't know why it's freeing. It's so nice to do it outside and have fresh air while you're cleaning your house. So I feel like it's kind of fun. A lot of you guys mentioned in my last video that you can get a spray that makes it more like outdoor resistant. So I'm definitely gonna look into that. If I can find it, I will do it for you guys and let you guys know what I think about it. I just need to find time to like research it and get the best one. But you can also use it on pillows and just different fabrics that you're using outside that were made to be inside. I think that's a really cool idea. So I'll definitely try to get that so I can try it out for all of us. Okay, so while I work on my floors I'm vacuuming, I wanted to talk about my vacuum because I feel like I've been getting so many questions about them lately. I have the Dyson Animal and then I have the LG and you guys always want to know the difference and what I like. I prefer the LG just because of it has two batteries, I feel like it lasts longer, I like the attachments. But I also hands down love my Dyson. I would be okay just owning my Dyson. I feel like it has great attachments. The one thing that is kind of a downfall is it doesn't have the backup battery and you have to hold the trigger the whole time you're vacuuming where the LG, you can just turn it on and off. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. The LG is more. So if it's already, um, you know, just out of your budget or high end of your budget, definitely go with the Dyson because the LG does cost a little bit more. But if it's like you don't have a budget, <laughs> which I don't know who doesn't, but if you can spend whatever you want, I would definitely go with the LG. I think it's worth the extra money. As you can see, my dogs were extra spunky this day. They always love chasing the vacuum. And then we went through this short little season where they didn't like bother the vacuum at all. And then all of a sudden they came like right back out and they're obsessed with it again. So I don't know what caused that, but you can tell they were wanting that so bad. <laughs>
Now I'm just gonna work on cleaning off my nightstands. Um, I probably should have done this earlier when I went ahead and had like my rag and um, window cleaner out. Sometimes I just forget. I work so much better when I have a list. So if you need to get cleaning done, I highly suggest just write a list of everything that you wanna get accomplished and then you won't feel so all over the place. I kind of felt like that in today's video. I felt like I kept going back and forth for the same product. I just didn't plan it well, but you can definitely get a space so much cleaner if you just know what you have to get done, write it down in order, cross it off as you go, and it just seems to go by so much faster and easier. And open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. So if you've been around for a while, you already know this, but if you're new, I just did a whole master bedroom makeover and I did it on two different budgets. Um, both were still affordable. One was a $70 budget and one was just shy of $250 budget. So if you wanna see the comparison of those and see everything I did to transform this room on a budget, definitely check that out. I'll try to remember to put all the videos I've talked about down below in my description box so you can just click on them and watch them. But I've definitely been loving sharing makeovers with you guys and you seem to really enjoy them, especially when they're on a budget and we talk prices. So I will definitely be doing more of those soon. Now I'm in my laundry room and I didn't even know what to do. I went in there and there was no laundry to do. If you saw my face, I was almost like shocked. I didn't even know how to react. <laughs> so the only thing I had to do was to put up the laundry hamper. Show me your love like it is, like it is. Then open my heart like you feel. Now I'm gonna head into my beauty room slash office. I don't know what to call this space now because it's always been my beauty room, but now Chase's work desk has been moved in here. So I put this video up on um, Father's Day and I think a lot of you missed it because you were spending time with your families, which I completely understand. But if you did miss my like declutter, organize, clean, decorate with me of the beauty room, I'm gonna leave that link down below as well. I went through all my makeup. I worked on all these drawers and all these spaces to get them organized. I also did a DIY with adding these glam knobs to the Ikea desk. So if you guys missed that, and I think you did, definitely make sure you go back and watch it. So in that video, you guys suggested um, adding an outlet to this closet so I could put my vanity mirror. Um, I don't know how much it would cost to add one in. I know a lot of you guys said I have an outlet behind that mirror and it would be easy to install on the other side, but where that outlet is, the closet ends before it gets to that point. So they'd have to add a whole new outlet in there. And you guys know me, I just rearranged too much to put a ton of money into an outlet in that closet because that desk may not be there forever. And then a lot of you guys suggested like a battery operated vanity light and it seems like a good idea but I am so sick of charging things <laughs> like I have to charge my watch my phone my camera batteries my vacuums I really don't want something else to charge so I'm okay with how it's set up I just get my makeup and I stand out at this big mirror it may not last forever because nothing ever does in this house but I'm perfectly okay with how it's set up right now
Now I'm gonna grab my broom and head outside to the front porch. I like to keep this area nice and clean and tidy because it's the first thing people see when they show up and I like it just to be nice and clean. Plus, we just recently had our house sprayed for bugs so I feel like we have a lot more dead bugs around the corners than normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and just shake out my front door mats and then give this porch just a good sweeping. I'll always get the comment when I'm sweeping just to buy Chase a blower so we can just blow it off. He actually has one, but I prefer sweeping. It's very calming to me. I like getting some fresh air. I like feeling the sun. I don't know. It's just very just soothing to me and I don't mind it at all. Plus it's a good little arm workout just to get throughout the day. So I don't mind sweeping. I just, I don't know. I enjoy it. I even do it inside sometimes and I don't pull out my vacuum, especially if Savannah's sleeping or trying to go to bed, I'll do it. It. But now I'm going to put the mats back and I'm going to go inside and grab the cleaners. I wanted to go ahead and get the outside of these windows clean. So since I had worked on the inside already, this was my first time cleaning since I'd moved the sectional out here. It was so much easier than like the chair I had before. I was just able to like really quickly clean these. So I like this setup a whole lot better. So you think you were right? Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong Go put up a fight mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do will knock you down You know there's a motion between the stone I feel like I get asked a lot how I keep this clean out here. It really stays, you know, clean on its own. If you can tell, I'm out here just kind of dusting it off with my rag and I fluff up my cushions a lot and shake them out. I think if I were to just put this here and leave it, it would probably build up dirt over time, but we sit out here a lot, so I'm constantly just like fluffing it and shaking it out. We're sitting on it, so it's been a nice move. If you're new here, this used to be on our back patio before we redid it, but we moved it out here and really enjoy it. But now I'm gonna go ahead and mop my floors. I'm just gonna use my e-cloth mop. I always get tons of questions about it. You just take the mop head and get it wet. I always get asked how I can mop my whole floor and not re-wet it. I just make sure to get it really, really, really wet. So I left this on real time so you could see how long it's in the water. And then I wring it out, but not all the way. So I like to leave some water in there so that it can make it through the entire house and I don't have to re-wet it and I can just finish all the floors. Don't go cry about it Don't go cry about it You want me to take you in my trust Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget if you're not already following Kimberly from Style Mom XO, click on that link down below and go check out her video. I promise you, you're gonna love her. She is absolutely amazing and I love her channel so, so much. I was watching her way before I was a YouTuber, so I think she's pretty darn amazing. And then if you're new here and enjoyed today's video, definitely go through all my videos and see if you like them and if you enjoy them. I would love for you to subscribe if you do. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Give it up.